everybody impromptu vlog uh, happening right now. I'm just going to give it a few minutes, see if anybody pops in. I've got lots of stuff to share, talk about Christmas, that kind of fun stuff. And again, welcome back to my channel. Uh, just give it a few and see if we can get anybody in here. Good. This is uh, vlog number 16, I believe. Tempting to do a couple a month at least. Drinking the new Starbucks uh, pistachio latte. It's super sweet. It's super yummy, but it's super sweet. Will definitely just be a treat every now and again. Oh, I see a couple people there. Give a shout out who's out there right now. Hi, Margie. How are you? Welcome back to my channel. Where did you say you're from? R R J R I. Where where is that? I'm assuming that's a state in the states. I will admit my um, United States geography, besides West Coast, is pretty uh, non-existent. I'm not very good at it. Ah, oh, thanks, Margie. You're probably pretty great yourself too. Uh, I really appreciate you popping in. Rhode Island. Oh yeah, that's like New York type area, right? I think. I think. Anyways, everybody, if you have a coffee, go grab a coffee. Let's have a visit. I'm super excited to show you what I got for Christmas. You can kind of see part of it right here. This was a real treat, that's for sure. Can everybody hear me okay? I am not wearing my mic right now. Um, I ordered a cord to be able to have it longer, but it was the wrong cord. Let me know if you can hear me. I, I think it's okay for the lives if I talk loud enough. I just uh, hate it when you can't hear me. Sorry, drinking coffee at the same time. Anyways, I hope you guys all had a fantastic Christmas season. It was, uh, I think the last time I was on was Christmas Eve and I mentioned Oh, thanks, Margie. Okay. I did miss a chat bubble. I didn't see who that was. It was a big one and it cleared off my screen. Who was that again? Say hi again so I can say hi to your name. I looked away right when the bubble was going away. Seems to have a delayed reaction from when things are posted to uh, when I see them. So if I'm not staring right at it. Sorry, wrong comment. We can hear you fine. <laughs> oh, okay. Thanks, Margie. For sure. Anyways, I try to catch as many comments as I can. I said I'm using my iPhone and it's a little ways away from me right now. Um, and the comments don't stay on my screen for very long. So if I do miss you, really, please don't take it personally. I want to say hi to everybody that comes on. But if I look away even for a second, I tend to miss them. Anyways. Oh, hi, Cheryl from New York. And thank you, Margie. I actually, maybe we'll start with that. Um, again, you guys probably already watched the tutorials on this, on the Erica Bowler bag that I finished in the Tula Pink fabric. Man, man, I love this pattern. I love all of the Aura Rosas. Hi, GS Mom. Thank you. Thank you for coming back to my channel. So, yeah, this is the Tula Pink Lineworks, um, new line here. Uh, I mean, those lemurs... Amazing. I actually got the one that has the pandas as well. And I'm actually going to make a diaper bag out of that one. I've never made a diaper bag before, but I have the Tula Pink. I wish I grabbed them. Oh, well, they're in the other room. So <laughs> um, I got the Tula Pink fabric. I got the pandas and I also got the skunks. Oh, no, I'm doing the diaper bag in skunks because skunks diaper bag. Ha ha, get it. Ha ha. <laughs> but I also got like little paw prints for uh, the lining of the bag. So I'm really excited to do that. I think I'm going to do the diaper bag. Um, forget what it's called, but it's by Sincerely Jen. She's the one that does all of the like friends inspired names to her bags. So I've never done one of her patterns before. So I think I'm going to do that with that one. So um, I guess while we're on the set, talking about Aura Rosa patterns. Oh, great. Okay. Margie, are your diaper bags, are they binding on the inside or are they a drop in lining? I'd really like to know. I'm thinking that I'm gonna like it if it's a binding. I never ever thought I would do that till I started doing these bags. I would never ever done binding before. Tomorrow, I am actually gonna be starting on my next tutorial, which I'm hoping to be released for late Friday, early Saturday. And I'm gonna do the Aura Rosa Magdalena bag. That's the circle bag. 
and I'm kind of giving it a theme as well. Um, two years ago or so, I did a bag for a client with Spoonflyer fabric in Elvis, and I've got some scraps of that Elvis. Like, how amazing is this? So I actually think for that circle bag, because it kind of is 50s retro, I'm going to do Elvis theme on the two pocket panels. And then at Fabricland today, I'm so excited, I found this for the lining. It was like it was meant to be. If I found the perfect lining um, to go for an Elvis bag, I was going to do it. And of course, I was looking for like blue suede shoes or something in a bright blue, but couldn't find that. But the musical notes, I think, would be really good. So I'm going to do uh, Elvis inspired Magdalena circle bag. So that is what I will be doing tomorrow. So when I'm pretty quiet online, if you're part of the Facebook group or whatever, um, just know that I am filming that tutorial to release. So I'm super excited about doing that. So yeah, I don't know. Do you think Elvis is a good idea? I think it's going to be really cute. Um, so yeah, we will see how that turns out. No regular lining with elastic pockets. Oh, I'll have to check out that pattern. Melissa, I couldn't do this without them. They're such a great support to me. Hi, Lizzie, uh, all the way from Australia. Welcome. Um, Rhonda, Melissa, I just have to give a shout out to them because uh, they are such a great support to me and uh, they help me come up with ideas and and things for uh, possibly, like I throw ideas off of them for uh, bags and what I should be using uh, to make them look good because I mean, advice is always a good thing. So I really, really do appreciate you ladies. Thank you. I don't think Melissa is in here yet. I believe she's actually working. So, but uh, hi Rhonda. Rhonda's a fellow uh, BC girl. So she doesn't live too far from me one day, maybe after COVID we'll get some time to meet. Anyways, who wants to see what my son got me for Christmas? Super excited. I don't know if it works. Um, maybe I'll do another video in the next couple days and see if it does. Anyways, I can tell that he got it at Value Village because there's a Value Village sticker on here. But I mean, you can always find treasures at Value Village. Um, so I don't know if you can see this. It's actually a funny story. So it comes in this nice wooden case and we couldn't get it open. It would not open. And there's a, on the other side a little keyhole and we didn't have a key for it. Um, uh, so my husband had to jimmy the lock open so we could actually see inside it. Apparently he bought it and it was open and then he couldn't get it to close. So he just had it set and the latch must have closed and then we couldn't get into it. So we spent much of Christmas Eve after I opened it trying to get into it so I could see what it is. But this is what, I mean, she's so beautiful. I don't know what she is. I don't know what she's called. I have to, um, I kind of looked up the serial numbers to see how old she is. And I think she's from between 1935 and 1940. She is electric. So that's cool. Um, she comes with a whole bunch of fun stuff in this little pocket here. But the thing that got me the most, I've never really played with an antique machine before besides my commercial one, which scares me because it goes too fast and it eats my fingers. But look at, this is the bobbin for it. Isn't that bizarre? That's the bobbin for this machine. I don't even know how to put it in. I'm gonna actually have to take some time and play with it. But she looks like she's brand new and she moves really smoothly. So I think she's taken care of. Um, I did ask my son um, how much, oops, how much she was and she was $79 at Value Village. That's Canadian. Um, and I'm sure she's worth a lot more. So yeah, um, we do a name trade thing at Christmas. So we only buy one present for somebody, well, besides our spouses, but my boys are both adults, 1921. So they are in that pool and my 21 year old got my name and we have a $70 spending limit and he went a little bit over with this. But I mean, how amazing that a 21 year old boy would think about getting his mother something like this. And I just love it. So maybe after I do the next, maybe I will do a little seeing if it works video. I don't know if that would be of any interest, but uh, I'll figure out exactly what she is and go from there. She weighs more than I do. I swear she is so heavy. But um, yeah, I just, 
I just love her. I mean, I did get a necklace for my husband and everything, which I adore for Christmas. Um, but this was definitely the highlight of my Christmas. I just, I'm in love with it. I don't know where I'm going to put her in my sewing room. I don't know if I'll actually use her, but I will definitely take care of her, make sure she's uh, oiled up and everything. So yeah, anybody else get any vintage machines for Christmas? I can't even get this back in there. <laughs> Oops. Well, never seen a bobbin like that. I'm curious to see how, how uh, strong this bag actually is because I've heard that these vintage machines are pretty amazing for when it comes to um, getting things done. Don't mind me as I'm struggling with this to get it back closed up. I'm not sure how all that fit in there. Closed it before. Anyways, we'll leave it for now. So that's her. Um, so yeah, I have to come, I name all my machines. Like my Titan's name is Tiffany and well, my Elna is Elna. <laughs> um, with a bullet, I have a treadle machine with a bullet bobbin. Is that like that kind of bobbin? I don't even know what a bullet bobbin is, Rhonda. I don't, but anyways, but this box even, I gotta get some goo gun to get the sticker off. So well, maybe I can pull some of it off there. Anyways, that was a wonderful find. I think you may have had, had some help from my mother, but that's all good. So I gotta find for a home for that, that something that's going to hold it. Okay, my battery might die. <laughs> Got 20%, so I'll try to get through everything. What else did I want to show you guys? Um, I actually wanted to share, I've been doing a lot of cork projects. Um, again, I know I've said it over, I get my cork from MM Cork Supply. Um, I've discovered just before Christmas, because I hate leaving the edges raw, I like the idea of painting them and sealing them in and that kind of thing. So I know you can get this at Fabric Fun House um, in the States. Um, unfortunately, I'm not buying too much from the States right now because shipping is horrendous, like way more than even the product. For Canadian bag makers and people dealing with cork, if uh, I found a Canadian supplier in Lethbridge, Alberta, um, it's called Fabric Impressions. I'll put a link down in the description of the shop and everything, but I got this. Uh, you probably, if you were watching on Sonar's uh, channel, she has the same set. It is the bomb. I love it. Just make sure when you order it that you also order the base coat dense to put on it. If you can see base coat dense, uh, I usually do a layer of this, sand it down, another layer, sand it down until it's nice and smooth and do a layer or two of the paint. Um, going, I went out and I bought some tools like this that spin to put it on, but honestly, this one's a brand new one that I just got from Amazon. But after a while, I find that this gets stuck and I resorted to just using chopsticks and going along. They work just as good. So whenever we have chopsticks, we just make sure we have Chinese food and I get some more. Um, yes, I'm that cheap. So definitely uh, recommend this. Uh, I think it's called GR Darden paint set. And uh, I also ordered some this size in uh, black. And then they also have like an iridescent type gloss that you can put over top of the black that gives it like that rainbow effect so that's what I've been playing with lately I really like it I hope I can do some cork tutorials soon as I uh, get a little more comfortable doing them myself um what else what else well speaking of cork so I'm right into making uh, in between projects doing like pocket pals from Lynn's Handmade that kind of thing or any of the wallets from Sonar so MM Cork Supply actually has these surprise packs they come in like 9 by 12 sheets and I've been ordering these just to get a different variety and this is the variety that I just got you never know what you're going to get in them some of them are discontinued but just give an idea of what some of our prints are I mean this one's a snake skin got like this cherry red this one's kind of cool black with this blue marbleized chunkiness in it I don't know what this one's called but I kind of really love it and this one and I actually have like three meters of this in a big roll. Um, and this one too, I have this one as well. I'm loving this one. Um, I'm gonna have to look on her site and see if I can get it in a larger piece because I think that would be a really nice accent piece on uh, a bag. So this is a great way to kind of get examples. I think this was a $30 set and it's different every time. It's, it's really kind of cool if you wanna go check that out. Um, what else have I been discovering lately? Uh, 
I went to the fabric store today. Yay! He said I got that music note. And then I was just mainly looking for some lining fabrics for some tutorials that I have coming out. Um, this one's actually for an order. Somebody has ordered a, um, a moon wake bag in, in the burgundy uh, Mora faux leather. And this is going to be her lining. Uh, this is the lining for that skunk um, diaper bag that I was talking about that I want to make. And then I got strawberries. So this is just from Fabricland. I think it's our, our Fabricland is the sister company to Joann's down in the States. I think they're the same company, to be honest. But um, I just love the strawberries. And then this one, just because I really like the teal. So I don't know what I'm going to use these for, but uh, they had a 70% off sale at Fabricland today. So I went a little crazy. What else, what else have I gotten? Um, what else can I share? Oh, speaking of cork products, um, magnetic snaps for wallets, like the tall wallet for sonar and everything can get rather expensive, to, especially when you're making tons of them if you're doing a craft fair or whatever. So I actually went on Amazon and I decided to get, I think these are called spring snaps. This is my second box I've gone through. I've already gone through another one, but seriously, if you don't have, a press. I don't have uh, dies for these um, here at all, but using the tools that come in this, they go in so easy and so fast and they're so much cheaper than magnetic snaps. So um, again, Amazon, I think I got this whole thing for like, I want to say $12. And I think there's like a hundred snaps in there. So they got the colors, gold, nickel, gunmetal, and an antique brass type one. So Definite recommend. Um, yeah, they, I was very pleased that they were so easy to use and that they go in so nicely and it's just a little bit cheaper than using the magnetic snaps for like the ones that do have a snap closure. Um, what else, what else? Bag storage. <laughs> this is all the stuff I've been thinking about over the last week, um, trying to get my sewing room all situated. I mean, I have changed everything around now and I acquired more space in the basement. Um, that is like my heat press area and my um my cork painting area now so our downstairs is about 1600 square feet and 800 square feet of that is now my sewing studio which is awesome it's long against the house i'm in the smallest bedroom of the house right now um but it's fantastic my husband surprised me with that other area that was mainly just a storage area so i'm over the moon i'm so lucky to have a husband that supports me so much in what i do Anyways, um, for the purses, because I am going to be doing craft fairs as soon as they opened, it'll be my first time doing them with my company, not my first time doing craft fairs. I've been doing craft fairs with my mom's business, which is called Cat's Crafty Corner. She does um, crocheted novelty hats, fashion hats, and uh, ponchos. I mean, I'll put a link to her store down below as well. Um, she's amazing, and I've been helping her, I think, for the last, I want to say seven years maybe um at those craft fairs so she's she's quite popular and pretty well known amongst the countless craft fair community so I'm gonna ride on her coattails and try to get in there with uh, my bags and my my cork wallets and everything as well so I've been prepping for building stock for that as I have never had stock besides my practice bags which I keep for myself or I give away to friends and family so um, trying to find a way I want to have at least 12 purses to have there um, and I'm like how am I going to keep it so they don't lose shape and they don't get dusty and all that stuff so I ended up buying hopefully it works this on Amazon so it hangs up in a closet it sits sideways here and on each side it holds enough for three purses um, larger pouches on the bottom medium size here and smaller ones here and it's on both sides so I'm going to give that a go but I would really love uh, to hear how everybody stores their handbags whether to resell or even their own just so they keep their shape and everything I'm actually have some bubble wrap on um, order from Amazon too so I can stuff the bags so they don't collapse and get all squished and wrinkly so I would love to know how you store your bags put it down in the comments let us know um yeah, I think this is going to be go. Thanks, Margie. I hope that I'll do good at craft fairs. They're not going to happen this year. Um, 
I'm hoping that they'll happen next year, but you never know what happens with COVID, but I've got my fingers crossed with the vaccines that it will be. Speaking of vaccines, my son's vaccinated now, which is awesome. He's the healthcare assistant and the seniors home that he works at was one of the first um, in Kamloops to get uh, the vaccine. So that makes me happy. At least one person in my family will be safe and hopefully we can all get those soon. Um, lastly, what else do I wanna talk about? Planners, um, I want to give a shout out to my friend Shayla over at Pineapple Planner. She's another Camelot's local company. Um, and they make these pineapple planners. So you, you've probably noticed on my machine during the tutorials, I have like a pineapple on there that's supporting her. Um, these are amazing planners. Uh, they do only have Canadian holidays in them because it is Canadian based. But I mean, it just keeps... I'm just going to show you. This is my schedule for January. Anything that's pink is either a tutorial or order that I have to fill or whatever. So I'm pretty much 100% booked for January, but I could not live without this book. And she even, I even got it engraved with my name on it. So it's kind of cool. But yeah, it's got lots of places for notes and priorities and everything like that. So I'll put a link down in the description in case anybody wants to order one of these. Um, I had one for last year. This is my last year one and um, it goes with me everywhere. Like it even has sticky tabs and everything in it because I just love it. And then she also has these notebooks. I'm very organized. Margie, I attempt to be organized. I don't know if I succeed, but I try. But uh, in the notebooks that she has, I just keep a page of things that I have to order. Like this page is for anything that I still have to order from Emmeline, my next order or and then cork supply or whatever it's how I keep everything straight but I like to know how you keep your stuff straight let's all work together let's uh, share ideas and, and find uh find ways that can help each other and and help us be uh organized so um I don't know if there's anything else are there any questions out there that you have for me or anything uh that you would like to see I have lots and lots of tutorials coming out um if you're part of the Shambhala Facebook group, you've probably noticed that she's released the the Shambhala Club again. I'm so excited about that. So the pre-sale for the first Alpha Pack, I believe it's called. So it'll have a re uh, release of a secret pattern on February 14th, Valentine's Day, and another one on Easter. And then it's like that for two more. I think the next one is like June and August and the other one is like Halloween and Christmas or something like that. So these are patterns that she has written. Uh, they only get released to the club members that have purchased the, the packs. Um, and then they don't actually go for sale to the rest of the public for three months after. So the only way to get them when they're first released is through her, her uh, Shambhala club. So I'm super excited that she has asked me to do the tutorials for those. So I can't wait to see what they are. I haven't even had a sneak peek yet, but when each of those patterns come out guaranteed that same day, I will have a tutorial that you can go, um, go on. I love Shambhala bags and Orosa. There are so many great designers out there. I wish I had the talent to design. I would love to be able to do that, but I, I just am really good at working with other people's ideas and, uh, choosing fabrics to complement their patterns and to make them my own but uh, yeah I don't have that talent or would even know how to go about making a pattern just yet never know may happen in the future but anyways Shambhala jump on over to her page if you want more details on that um, again there will be a tutorial released the same day as those patterns by me myself and I um, yeah super excited I, I just can't wait I just love her patterns and uh, yeah, I said it. And I'm also this month working through the Aura Rosa ones. I said the Magdalena is next. And then I think I will probably do the Esperanza at some time. That may fall more in, I don't know, end of January, beginning of February. And then I will also do the Zaneda. But uh, yeah, I'm going to have those Shambella ones to put in there. Plus, I, I am going to work my way through the Shambella catalog the rest of the way as well. So busy, busy here, as well as my three purse orders I, I have to fill every week. So... <laughs> Um, good thing I'm doing this full time. I don't know how I worked full time and did this before. Um, yeah, so that's about it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions, shoot them out right now before we call it quits. We're already at 25 minutes, so I don't want to keep you guys for too, too long. I'm going to have another sip of my coffee. It's getting cold. Oh, thanks, Margie. <laughs> I actually, um, 
I actually, I will admit, I will procrastinate about coming on to doing a vlog. Um, with working at home and not going out very often, I'm finding myself so lazy when it comes to <laughs> when I get up in the morning. I mean, I go to work every day, but seriously, my hair will go up in a messy bun and I'll have no makeup on. Oh, thank you. Um, I, I, oh, thank you. You're making me blush. I don't think I'm that pretty, but thank you so much. Um, but yeah, I just, trust me, uh, I look like a, a homeless person most of the time during the day is terrible. Like my husband comes home, he's like, wow, <laughs> like, yeah, you love me for what I am. So it's okay. Um, but today I actually went out shopping. I actually went on the weekend and had my hair done. You can tell it's quite a bit darker. My natural color is this strawberry blonde color that's in there, but she went auburn. So, um, yeah, no, what are we saying? No to Margie that I that I don't look very pretty during the day normally. Aw, thank you. Um, so yeah, no, I'm very happy. I let my hairdresser do whatever she wanted and it was actually the boost that I I kind of needed and I got compliments on it when I went out to Fabricland and shopping today. So that always makes you feel good. No, I'm not a homeless person. No, no, I just, sometimes I look like one, but yeah. I sh probably shouldn't joke about homeless people. I apologize for that not joking about it at all just saying that I could probably try to make myself look a little bit better during the day so now I'm putting my foot in my mouth anyways um yeah so look for this weekend I will probably do a live release like I usually do when I release a new tutorial so we can chat throughout it or whatever um I don't know if it'll be I guess it depends how far I get on it tomorrow I, I have to cut it out and everything and I'm running out of time today so I don't know if I'll get to the cutting today so I may get cutting and part of the filming tomorrow and then finish it up on Friday and edit the video and then hopefully get it out for Saturday morning release otherwise yeah it'll be Saturday morning at the latest I'm kind of hoping for a Friday afternoon but we will see what happens um anyways thank you everybody again for for tuning in I really appreciate it um the channel is growing so so fast that I'm I'm just a little bit overwhelmed by it. I have not done the H2 O Go Sling just yet. I can add it to the list and uh, get through it for sure. Um, maybe in the spring I can get to that one. That might be a good time to do do that when everybody's going to be out walking and it's it's warmer and everything outside. Um, I just lost my train of thought. Oh no. Um, yeah, it's gone. I don't know what I was saying. I hate it when that happens. <laughs> um, a crazy bottom. It's probably a round bottom, isn't it? Oh, because those are just my favorite. Not at all. <laughs> but I've seen it and it looks like it's an amazing uh, pattern to do. So, yeah. So uh, keep an eye out for that tutorial. Um, I hope you guys can all come in when we go live and we can chat. And um, if you have any tips and tricks while I'm tips and tricks while I'm doing it I definitely will take them if you have an easier way um again it's a binding finish um so yeah have binding be ready to go but binding I'm as I've learned is not a very scary thing Rhonda definitely go to the Facebook page and share it that would be great I'd love to see your H2O sling again anybody that hasn't already if you go to my Facebook page my business page is www.facebook.com slash like beans bag b-e-a-n-s-b-a-g and then once you're in there that's actually my uh page my business page and that's where my customers come to buy my bags from but at the top, it says join group. And if you click on that, it'll take you to my bag makers community, which is for, for all of us. And uh, we can give whatever. Oh, I know what I was saying. My YouTube channel has grown rapidly. So it was, what, beginning of December when I hit 2,000. And I was so excited for that. So within the last month, we're already bypassed 2,500 subscribers. Like, oh my God, guys. Like, wow. it's That's amazing. Uh... There's no reverse on these types that I'm aware of. Sweet machine, heavy but sweet. Oh, thanks, Sherry. Um, I'll, I'll let you know how this one goes. I'm excited to try her. Sorry, I'm squirreling around here. Um, so yeah, I'm like less than 500 away from 3,000. I'm gonna start uh gathering stuff for my $3,000 giveaway draw. Um, as my suppliers have been really generous and everything. I'm debating whether I should give away one of my bags. I don't know. I don't know if a bag maker would want another bag maker's bag. 
I have no idea. Or if I should just uh, get supplies where everybody can order and, and get some free supplies. I don't know. Let me know in the comments, but do you think a good prize would be for the 3000 giveaway? So yeah, so I got to start. I'm going to be picking my admin's brains. That's for sure. Um, you guys would really like one of my bags, huh? Cool. <laughs> well, maybe that'll be a prize. We will see what happens. Maybe it'll be a really amazing prize at 3000. Um, but no, I'm super excited, uh, to even be making this bar because I really don't know what I'm doing. I'm learning as I go when it comes to YouTube channel and, uh, I'm just overjoyed to be making all you new friends and and uh, that you guys actually tune in. But anyways, my camera is now at 10% and I hear Miss Coco coming down because it must be close to three o'clock. No, it's only 2.30. She wants her food, but she can't have her nummy numbers until three o'clock. Here's Benny and Coco right there. Anyways, thank you everybody for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, please do hit subscribe and hit the bell notification. So, cause I said, I never plan for my vlog. So at least you'll get a notification when I come on, if you want to chat and visit and have some Starbucks or what have you. So thank you everybody for tuning in. Um, I'll try to come back in again in a week or so. And again, watch for my um, Orosa Magdalena bag that'll be coming out this weekend at the latest. I'm excited to show you Elvis theme, yay. See you all guys. Bye.